Okay, let's talk Lisa. Okay, so, my dad's standing right over there, my uncle, uh, my cousins, and my aunt's inside. So, we're waiting for her to come back. We're following behind, it's getting to the dinner, just some nice people. So, hopefully, you won't see. He's coming over this way. Hopefully, you won't notice. Okay, I'm gonna turn the other way. Okay. Just look at the pretty view. Um, just the two roses. Look, somebody's flying a kite over there. Where is your aunt? Gonna take a quick pause. Okay, so we're not waiting for her aunt because her aunt's taking too long. So I hope we can make this work. Um, I think this is working out. Okay, and they are right over there, that family right there that we're walking up on. Uh, just wanted to see what we're doing. Sure. You guys, are, how come you guys are up here? <laughs> because would you like to see who's in that picture? Did we surprise you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. You? <laughs> Can I see this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. It's a long way from where you were. <laughs> Um, I'm debating to, I was debating to take some leave, and uh, I talked to a lot of my leadership about coming home for a bit. And uh, with our schedule um, being four in and four out, like they have to accommodate for people going on leave from time to time. So, especially with like you know, grandma. And that kind of a segue into it. So I asked for leave on Friday. Um, got a plane ticket. Spent like 28 hours. Flying from Bucharest to Munich to DC, and I got in really late last night. And uh, they picked me up from Denver. Um, I stayed the night next door. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I have eyes and ears everywhere, so I caught wind of the fact that you guys were coming up here. And so <laughs> I figured, you know what? I'm just going to take some leave. Like, this is probably one of the best memories I could possibly make. Um, better than, you know. Being on the other side of the world. The Navy's always going to be there, the patrol's always going to be there, but <laughs> family's pretty important. So we would like to take this time to show our support to the men and women of our armed forces. We proudly welcome you and your families, and at this time, ask that any member of the U.S. military, past and present, for the armed forces of our allies from around the world to please rise and remain standing. We thank you for your service. Six years. Their four kids are very proud of their dad who has been deployed in the Middle East for the last six and a half months, ensuring our country's safety. Are you ready to see your dad? Zero is excited to help reunite the Allen family. Great to see them again. Hadn't seen them in six and a half months. Redeployed, and uh, it was a great experience to be able to uh, 
It's basically surprised my, my, uh, my four little ones. My son's expression was the best, I think, so he, uh, he didn't recognize me and then I took my, my cover off and uh, he was just uh, being really happy and surprised. So oh, they kept asking me, are you coming home? <laughs> so it was, it was unbelievable. My kids love coming here, and so to be able to share an experience at SeaWorld with them, uh, it's something that we'll remember forever, so it's really great. Can I see Haley wave, please? Can I see Haley wave, please? Can I see Haley wave, Me dieron, una, me dieron una sorpresa aquí entre Juan Carlos y mi hija y no me lo esperaba y, y ya me hicieron llorar. ¡Hijo! Are you okay? Breathe, Dad, breathe. ¿Cómo te viniste?
It was a hero's welcome in Gretna. Two of our military's bravest paid a visit, spreading their message of inspiration and courage to local youths. KTV News Watch 7's Kyle Gravelin has the story. Gretna High School students bearing American flags lined the main entranceway Thursday. The patriotic presentation in place to welcome Sergeant Major Brad Casal, United States Marine Corps, and Taylor Morris, an explosive ordnance tech with the U.S. Navy. Two heroes, severely injured, fighting for our country. Deployed to Afghanistan, stepped on an IED, uh, blew off parts of all four limbs. Morris's equipment didn't detect that underground IED back in September 2012. Casal sustained gun and shrapnel wounds while protecting a fellow injured Marine in the Battle of Fallujah. But Morris and Casal overcame all odds and survived. Now they focus on our country's future, spreading a message of inspiration and courage. You face it every day in life. I mean, you're, you're not going to encounter and go through life without facing adversity. Facing and overcoming adversity, something Morris says can't always be done alone. You can wing it on your own or you can, you know, look up to somebody that, uh, you know, you kind of agree with the way they did things and, and try to follow that as best you can. Former Army Captain and now Nebraska Governor Dave Heineman also spoke at Thursday's event. These men willingly and women put their life on the line so we enjoy all the freedoms we have today. Sergeant Major Casal cracked a couple jokes but left students with some sage advice before departing the stage. If you just have two things, if you use two things, this and this, if you use your head and put your heart into it, you'll accomplish anything. And now it's up to those students to lead us into the future. Reporting in Gretna, Kyle Gravlin, KETV News Watch 7. None of us know. <laughs> <laughs> 